Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video I am going to show you how to use modifier. Modifier is a great feature of the Jetpack Compose that uh, we are using it mostly to uh, change the size of the elements, to shape the elements and to set the location uh, for the elements inside the screen and also it can uh, apply the feature on click for the elements that normally don't have it for example a button normally has the clickable function by default but uh, an element like a box doesn't have it and the modifier will help us to implement uh, this feature on this element okay if you are ready, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, give me a thumbs up for this video to help it uh, be watched by more people, and let's get started. Here, as always, I have a new project and uh, a composable function called my app. I called it here in the set content and in the preview. Let's start with adding a column here. inside this column I'm going to add a text and here a modifier And uh, let's start with adding a background. Color dot green. Okay. This green area is our text. It has just uh, a text and a background. And uh, as you can see, the text uh, just began from the edge of the uh, screen, edge of this uh, box. So what if I want to have a padding? Uh, if I want to have uh, like empty space here between this S, this letter S. Here I can add a padding like 10 dp. and as you can see it applied on our text uh, this frame this line shows our text and this is the padding so the whole green area still uh, is our text and uh, the feature of text i mean the element text and this subscribe please is the text of this text and uh, it uh, jumped inside uh, of this whole box so as you can see it's uh, uh, completely like the padding in the classical android system but we had another widget there another feature there it was uh, margin what if we want to have a margin the margin was uh, applying outside of the element there uh, if we want to have the margin here in the jetpack compose we don't have uh, something named margin we have to use the padding again but where as you can see if i apply a padding after background it will be applied as a padding and if i add a padding before the background it will be playing the rule of uh, margin for us it's just like that uh, let's add a modifier on the column
okay now this uh, whole white area is uh, our column and inside it we have this text as i said the modifier is used to change the size of the element let's see how we can use it consider if i want to expand my uh, text horizontally uh, i can use width and let's write 250.db as you can see it's applied on it and if i want to change the size uh, vertically i'm going to use height now as you can see i have a square with a size of 250 and 250 uh, if i want to apply the same size uh, on both sides of the element i can use uh, another widget instead of having two lines of code so this widget is uh, size and i can write 250 dp and it will be applied for both sides horizontal and vertical so you can see the result of this two line of code is equal to this line of code so if you want to have equal amount it's better to use size but if you want to have like this one maybe 300 that makes sense to use it okay the next thing that we can use is to uh, expand our uh, element horizontally or vertically uh, to the size of the screen the maximum size that it can be expanded for example uh, in this case let's start with fill max width it's exactly like the uh, match parent in the classical android system and you can see it. it's expanded till the corners of the screen and this uh, white area is because of this padding if i comment it you can see that it completely expanded and the same for the vertical side fill max height and it expanded vertically as well uh, till the maximum size of the sk the same like here uh, if we want to expand it from both sides not only one better to use another thing fill max size and it works exactly the same as these two lines of code okay let me comment them uh, let's uh, add a box here we want to have a modifier here uh, let's add a background color okay and let's have a size uh, 
350 dp okay or maybe 300 even a smaller okay Now we can see that we have this text on the top and this uh, box uh, below it. Here, this white area is this padding that we have added here. What if I want to have a padding for this box, but not for all around of it? Only from this side that is uh, uh, touching the side of the screen. So the same. Here I'm going to add a padding and now you can see the description here. If I write uh, the value, it will be implemented all over this box. If I add two values, for example, 10 dp and uh, 5 dp or 10 dp and 10 dp, one of them, the first one, horizontally will be implemented the second one vertically and if i add uh, four equal or four different uh, values uh, these values will be implemented on the start top end and bottom but if i want to add only one value uh, to be implemented only one side i have to mention for which side i want it so I'm going to write a start and equals to uh, the same 10 dot dp. Okay. You can see now this padding is uh, implemented on this box and I have here this 10 dp. If I delete this start and you can see it's implemented now uh, all over uh, this box, all around this box. Okay. Uh, let's check the next feature what if I want to rotate this box again here before the background I can add rotate and as you can see the type of it is uh, on flat so I can write 45 F that means 45 degrees and it will be rotating just like that uh, let me delete this and change it to 50 or maybe even more that's too much Okay, uh, now we have this uh, box rotated. And uh, what if I want to uh, have a transparency on it? Here before the background again, I can add the alpha. The same is on float and uh, by default is on 1F. And if I want to make it transparent I have to give a value uh, smaller than one and you can see now it's uh, like 90% transparency uh, and if I write four 
it will be more visible okay we don't need it for now i'm going to comment it and uh, the next thing that we can have here after the background we can add border it needs like let's say 3 dp and now we have a border all around our box and this is also one of the features of the modifier uh, another feature that we can have if we, we want to round the corners of the uh, element here we can uh, write just before the background that uh, clip rounded corner shape and maybe uh, 20 dp again this is like the padding if i write only uh, one value it will be implemented uh, for all four corners and if i wrote if i write top start top end bottom end and bottom start it will be implemented on that corner only you can see that uh, in the corners we have a cut and we don't want it so here uh, in the border i can add a shape rounded corner shape and the same it was 20 dps here i have 20 and here also i'm going to write 20 and you can see that it's corrected now and also i can have a cut corner shape instead of the rounded corner shape the same uh, the border should be changed based on that and it's like that okay uh, the last but not least uh, if i hold the mouse on the box you can see it has only modifier content alignment and this one and uh, it doesn't have the on click by default but here if i want to add on click i can click a bell and here i can uh, write any command that i want and do any function run any function that i want that was everything about this video and uh, if you are satisfied of this content please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and if you have any comment write down below in the comment box and i will be so happy to answer to your comments thank you very much bye bye